Hey guys, what's going on? Blake's Controllers. Today I'd like to bring you another review video on another power bank case I recently got in the mail. This is what this big old boy looks like. This is actually a 50,000 milliamp and it's not made to slide on any phone. Uh, obviously, as you guys can see, it's actually made to be put in your pocket, carried in a purse, uh, backpack, or any type of uh, thing you carry your stuff around locally um, you could even carry it in your jacket pocket or whatever you prefer um, this is actually a 50,000 milliamp case um, cost me about 40 bucks on eBay as always the link will be in the description of the video so if you wanna go buy one for yourself highly recommend it 50,000 milliamps 40 bucks and free shipping coming from the United States it came to my house in about three to four days so actually pretty fast shipping for uh, free shipping um, the back here you can read the specs you can see power bank my model the capacity 50,000 input 5 volts output 5 volts and you're probably wondering why it says 5 volts 2.1 amps and 5 volts 0 0.10 amps uh, that's because on the back side where the four LEDs are on top the arrow you actually have two USB slots uh, for two devices so you can charge two of them at the same time and uh, as you guys can see here the top one says 2.1 amps and the bottom one says 1 amp that's because some devices nowadays like an iPod touch for an example or a speaker box to play with your phone uh, to play music off your phone or your mobile device or whatever you have um, sometimes they need an extra uh, amp to uh, operate and function correctly so that's why they put that in there but it charges an iPod touch uh, second generation just fine and so does the bottom one and uh, to actually turn this thing on you need to charge it for about 12 hours the very first time you get it in the mail do not use it it will be charged once you get it but you need to charge it for exactly 12 hours leave it on overnight before you go to bed which is what I did I recommend it and then you can use it in the morning throughout uh, once every three months that you use it this thing only needs to be charged once every three months so it's pretty good and as you guys can see in the reflection of the light here it's actually very fingerprint friendly and uh, it's the only thing I really don't like about it but it's a case but and uh, then the next time you charge it after the three months have been up it needs to charge to six to seven hours and to turn this thing on you hit this little button here and this is the only button on the device itself you just push it the four LEDs will light up after you charge it fully for 12 hours and I'll get a close up here the four LEDs are your indicators on the battery level or the battery status obviously mine's fully charged but I've been using it so the um top LED or the fourth LED counting from the bottom up not from the top to bottom depends on how you count it or however you want to count it but the top LED personally which I call it the fourth LED um, will probably go on and off uh, depending on how you charge it or how much you use it then it will go down the third, the second and the first and then it won't turn on then you'll have to charge it for six to seven hours so it's fairly simple and to charge this thing and turn it off you just turn it on hit the button and turn it off you hold it for exactly two seconds it turns off and to charge it you use a standard um, via mini USB cable or plug and uh, it just on the bottom here right underneath on the side of the power button on the bottom it just says in then you charge it or plug it in and charge it and this thing actually comes with a whole bag of uh, connectors and uh, I have two of every connector and two extra or one extra wire because I actually had to send my other one back because it was default defaulty and the battery wasn't charging but uh I have the main connector uh, which I use the most which is a uh, iPod connector you can use an iPhone or iPod or iPod touch whatever and you can just snap it in like that it's not going to come out and then uh, with the wire that comes with it you take this end that looks like a 3.5 millimeter headphone 
adapter jack or extender and you just plug it into this uh, uh, thing sticking out on the uh, charging part and then you just plug it in via USB make sure to hit the button turn it on and then I personally plug it in 2.1 amps set it to the side and there you can see my device is charging this will charge probably five iPods if it wanted to plus and uh, so I'll just unplug this here oh and you guys can see that um, one LED went down indicating the battery level went down probably about I don't know a good bit probably about 25% um, I'm just taking a guess here but it's still charged enough where I don't have to charge it like tomorrow night so I'll just go ahead and unplug this set it to the side and uh, show you some of the other connectors um, you have uh, old Motorola I think that is and they have them for old phones too guys so it's really nice that they send you these you have uh, that style just regular uh, adapters you find around town and then uh, a Samsung or Android uh, charger that I know of is most common but uh, and uh, let's say you're like you're at a pool party or something and you don't have batteries in your charger case this is a uh, or not charger case your boom box this is a uh, boost uh, boom box by iFrog I highly recommend you guys get one of these um, they're kind of pricey around uh, $50 I think it was but um, it's worth it and you just take your uh, adapter here and just plug it into the DC 5 volt in and then you can have an audio in line and you just take your iPod connector off and you replace it with uh, whatever connector you use for your boom box but for the boost uh, boom box you just use the uh, Android connector you just plug it in and then you just hit the button and then you can just connect the uh, audio wire and then just play your music and turn your case on then you're good to go so that's pretty much it for this video review guys hope you enjoyed if you did rate comment subscribe so you guys never miss a video so why not subscribe and um, if you guys want to purchase one again links will be in the description for this bad boy and uh, I highly recommend you get one if you uh, have an iPhone I'd move on from uh, the power bank case if you guys uh, see my uh, last videos if you haven't I'll leave a link to the description leave a link in the video description to those videos and uh, thanks again for watching guys and I hope you guys enjoyed and have a nice day